It's been more than a year since Skanska construction barges knocked out a section of the Pensacola Bay Bridge, causing months of headaches for drivers and a strain on business owners' profits. Ahead of that civil trial, expected to start this month in federal court, WKRG News 5's Daniel Smithson spoke to an attorney about Skanska's alleged costly mistakes. Lawyers representing nearly a thousand people in this lawsuit say Skanska was negligent in preparing for Hurricane Sally and intentionally deleted employees' cell phone data to destroy evidence. Attorneys representing business owners to homeowners and commuters in lawsuits against Skanska say the construction company was not prepared for Hurricane Sally. And what the National Weather Service was showing, uh, the alerts that the Coast Guard was putting out, all of the time was saying, it's time. It's time to get ready. Attorneys say Skanska's 2020 hurricane plan was inadequate and the company waited too long to prepare, leaving dozens of construction barges unsecured. At least my clients, they just want to be made whole. That's ultimately what they're seeking and it's reasonable because they prepared their businesses for the hurricane uh, and Skanska, it's just, it's undeniable uh, the failure. A judge on Friday ordered Skanska to pay legal fees after evidence showed the company deleted cell phone data of key employees. That evidence is gone and these were folks that were some of the most important boots on the ground involved in the uh, you know in moving the barges away from the bridge and why Skanska would allow those to to be destroyed is it, it, there is no reasonable innocent explanation for that. Skanska says a judge found no direct evidence of any wrongdoing, while attorneys argue there is circumstantial evidence to prove the company intentionally cleared the phones. The civil trial is expected to start here in Pensacola on October 18th. In Pensacola, I'm Daniel Smithson, WKRG News 5.